Speaking of the Suns, the Suns also in action Friday night, taking on the Raptors. Steve Nash missing a second straight game with a sprained right ankle, but they still have the big Shaktis. And he loves these moments. Amari's out, Nash is out. Feed me the ball. <laughs> I want to dominate. Shaq did dominate. 12 points in the first quarter. He was just getting warmed up. Throwing down over Chris Bosh. He had 23 at the half. Look out. Man down. Man down. <laughs> there may be a couple of men down. Save the women and children as Shaq goes headfirst into the crowd. Everyone would be okay. He had 32 after three quarters. He loves to do that, trust me. Diving in the crowd. He <laughs> picks his spot and he dives right for it. Because he's the one that's not going to get hurt. <laughs> 40 points for Shaq at this point. He finished with 45 points and 11 boards. His highest scoring game in six years, Jalen. JW, is it me or on all these highlights, not only are they dunks or layups, but none of the Raptor players are even trying to contest the shot. Would you? If you were that close and Shaq's going to dunk on you, get out of the way. Oh, you got to put him on the line. <laughs> you have to put him on the line. That's true. You're better off there. Shaq, who turns 37 in about a week, becomes the second oldest player in NBA history to put up a 40-10 game behind only Kareem, who did it at age 38 back in 1986. This was Shaq's 43rd career, 40-10 game, sixth most in NBA history, and his first since December of 2004 when he was with the Heat. Shaq, was this a fun one or what? It was cool. You know, it's a... Uh... Guys were really looking for me. I've been saying all year, if I can get those those touches like that, uh, I think I can do that every night. And I've been doing it on a consistent basis uh, for 17 years, but you know, they were looking for me tonight.